Welcome to the Every Day is a New Day podcast and live show. Are you ready? Because this is Rise and Shine. Every day is a new day. The 21 day empowerment series that supports you in cultivating a habit of getting into alignment mentally and emotionally, standing in your power and being unshakable regardless what's happening around you. Join us live on Facebook at 9 a.m. Pacific time on the Every Day is a New Day show and coaching page or on Apple Podcasts and beyond for the replay. Let's get to it. All right. And so welcome to day 21 of Rise and Shine. Every day is a new day. I cannot believe we are here on the the technically the final day of our 21 day series. <laughs> uh, I'll be sharing news about uh, an additional day in, a little later on, but um, so awesome to see you here with us. Let us know in the comments where you're connecting from. You know, what has this been like for you? And I want to go ahead and do a quick warm welcome to today's guest. Welcome Lori Cowling. Thank you so much. I love that I'm here on day 21. This is like wrapping it up, getting ready for the next part. Just perfect. I do too. I was like, whoo, she picked a great day. That was <laughs> awesome. 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 So this is all about really supporting each and every one of you, all of us together, practicing, prioritizing yourself and your alignment so that you are feeling good and solid and strong within who you are so that you can navigate you know, throughout your day, anything that comes around you, you are good and you can move within that flow. You may not be able to control what's going on outside of you, but you can always control what's going on within you. And the more you practice that, it gets easier and easier. And I have to say that as we've been doing this 21 day series, doing it together as a group, I have absolutely noticed the difference myself. So hello to Kara. I see you with us today. So good to see you here. So let's go ahead and Lori, I, I invite you to join me today. We're going to align our energy and I, I like to keep it simple uh, and mix it up a little bit every day. But so first, wherever you are seated, go ahead and just make sure that you are comfortable wherever you're seated. Oh, yeah, I'm actually going to adjust myself. <laughs> <sighs> okay. And so what we're going to do today, we are going to... Uh, very at the very beginning of this whole series, we just tuned into how are we feeling in the present moment, connecting with that awareness, and then you get to make a choice. Do you want to amplify more of that, or would you like to bring in something different? So we're going to just tune in right now. Allow yourself to take a slow, deep breath, just settling into your body, and tune in. Ask yourself, how am I feeling right now in this moment? knowing that however you are feeling is okay. All emotions are simply information. Allowing yourself to be present with that emotion. And then ask yourself, do I desire to feel more of that? Or would I like to feel something different? And as you're in that space of asking the question, what comes up for you if you choose to feel something different? What is that new emotion that you would like to bring in, that new energy? And this is your moment to claim that. And as you're in this space of, of choosing and deciding, I'm gonna go ahead and Acknowledge that about a foot above your head, you have this beautiful golden ball of light that is showering down upon you. And just allow yourself to bask in the energy of this light. Allowing this light to either wash out and cleanse any tension, any emotions you no longer wish to be in the energy of, while also 
inviting in and showering down upon you those emotions and energies you do wish to be amongst. And just being in that state of awareness and feeling it to the degree that feels easy for you. You don't have to do anything other than simply be and receive. And with your sheer intention, you are allowing in that which you choose to receive. I'll just take a few more seconds here to just feel that sense of alignment with what feels good. Allowing that to flow down into you, through you, and even expanding beyond you. Being present with your choice and you're doing an amazing job. You are such a beautiful being. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it back into the present moment. And as you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. And just taking a few simple moments every day to just be present with, wait, what am I choosing today? What feels good in this moment? And really allowing yourself to take that time to do that for yourself because it's so subtle and makes such a huge difference moving forward. So Lori, I would love for you to share with us, what does it feel like for you, you know, whether you want to speak about what that was like for you just a moment ago, or just in general, what does it feel like for you when you take time to align your energy and be present? Well, first of all, I'd love starting any sort of conversation like that. So all of the groups that I run, I do the same thing. It's always this place of just choose into you, right? Um, so Sydney, I love this so much. My daughter, Sydney, literally like a hundred times a day, sometimes will say it's a new day. It's a new day. She really does. And I was so happy to be able to be on this conversation with you for exactly what you just said. She chooses that all day long and it reminds you, you don't have to just do it in the morning. Right. Anytime you need to reset, you literally can just say, it's a new day. What do I want to feel right now? Because that's all you can control is what do I want to feel right now? What's showing up for me right now? Um, yeah. So I love the feeling of it. I love the alignment of it. I love the play of it. Um, and you know what else? I love it when you're having a rough day. Like yesterday was a, a heavier emotional day. Okay. And it was so cool to know how to do these things that I know how to do to be present and see myself. Because then two things can exist. You can have that heavier sensation going on and then you can breathe and go, okay, but right now, what can I do Yeah. I do right now? So yeah, I really love it. Oh, so I was just noticing in the comment, Judy, um, Judy said, yes, Sydney has taught her. Sydney has taught a lot of people. It's a new day. And she's like, it's so good. That is so beautiful. I Thank you for sharing that, Lori. And so if you are with us today, let us know in the comments, what does it feel like for you when you just take those few moments? Again, whether it be first thing in the morning or somewhere throughout your day. That's, that is also the, I love that you actually brought that up, Lori, because that is one of the key things behind what prompted me to do this 21 day series is the power of choice. Every single guest on the Every Day's a New Day show for the last few years, that's the one common thread that they highlight is that you always have the ability to choose. And so, so thank you for so much for bringing that up today. You have the ability to choose in everything that's going on. Wait a second. If I, if I'm not enjoying what's happening here, what would I like to choose next and bring in? And, and I also want to highlight that. Again, all emotions are information. So we know when something feels good or doesn't, you know, doesn't feel good, but the ones that don't feel good aren't necessarily bad. What, what's the information there? What, maybe it's simply reminding you, wait a second, I have a choice, right? And so, so it's really key to not say, oh, I'm just going to cut that off, but go, oh, okay, yes, I am feeling this and I choose to shift it. 
Yeah. There's a there's a difference there. So I just yeah, absolutely want to highlight that. So Lori, okay, awesome. So so we brought in the energy and we connected to our awareness with it. And I like to give the audience an affirmation. Um, it's key to have an affirmation that resonates with you. So if you already have an affirmation that you can use for your day, let us know in the comments. But if not, then Lori, what would be an affirmation that you could do use today to continue to remain in alignment? And we'll share that with everyone today. Um, sure. I like to, one of the, um, one of the things I'm constantly working on is, stillness until something less is required. Ooh. And you know, that kind of came up in my life a few years ago. And right now I'm really working on stillness within action. Oh, that is so awesome. I, okay, wait, yeah. still, I'm typing both of those in stillness within action. Yeah. And yeah. So the first one is stillness until something less is required. And then stillness within the action, because, you know, we are very able to be and be still in, in my space. That's something I learned how to do with Sydney a long time ago. Um, but now to be taking action that makes sense in whatever moment when you're inspired and still find that stillness within the chaos of your thoughts. Right. Um, so that's that's my place that I'm working on right now is being in action and being in stillness at the same time. Okay. So that is like so profound and perfect for day 21. Mm -hmm. What, what would you say really supports you in being able to attain that degree of stillness within action or stillness until something less, like really right. let's think about what she said there, right? Stillness until something less is required. Oh my gosh. That totally highlights the, you know, you're not a human doing you're a human being. Right. So, yeah. okay. So tell us more about that. Uh, sure. So, you know, one of the things we talk about with see uniqueness and I talk about with see uniqueness all the time is learning to celebrate everything about yourself. So when you are doing that and you're putting those tools in place, it is much easier to um, have stillness, you know, and the idea of something less than stillness that doesn't mean that um, you just sit in OM all the time. It means finding peace within, finding stillness within your thoughts, finding stillness within celebrating who you are. Uh, and, you know, when you get to those places and it's, you know, the things that we're working on in our life all the time is celebrating when you're angry, celebrating when you're happy, celebrating when you're mad. I mean, you can't always do it in the moment. Um, but I have very little guilt in my life because I, I can always after go, okay, what was I in? What was going on? I might need to take some action to uh, repair some things I did in, in a moment of that. Um, but guilt doesn't sit there because of this sense of, of I have to celebrate every part of who I am. Yeah. And then I think the other thing, and I learned the wording for this recently, I did a leadership training with um, Christina Summit from Calgary. She's amazing. And she gave me this, the wording for it, um, capacity. So right now I don't have the capacity to do everything I desire to do. Or with Sydney and I, sometimes um, I might be really tired. So I don't have the capacity to do what I could do, or I do have the capacity right now because I'm full of energy and I'm full of joy. So I can go out and do these things. And you know what? Just that one word takes away the pressure of I have to, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I'm not doing enough. We all have different capacity based on what we're experiencing in whatever moment. And how much does it help you to be able to understand or discern your capacity based from how you practice, you know, feeling into your stillness or being in alignment and making those different choices. How does that support you in knowing your capacity? Right. They kind of, they really go hand in hand. So when you are willing to see yourself, when you're willing to understand yourself and then you're willing to see people around you, and you're willing to see them for them through their own experiences, um, then the capacity to be you becomes very easy and gentle. And the capacity to not want to show up the way somebody else requires you to. 
uh, they just, it's this like flow of it, right? This hand yeah. in hand base of knowing yourself and loving yourself exactly as you are and understanding that um, everybody else is doing the same. We only have so much capacity in whatever moment to do that. Uh, yeah, they're really, it's a really beautiful way to get into that stillness in action. Oh my goodness. I so, so love it. So, okay. So Kara is saying her affirmation for today is I am whole, perfect and living my fullest potential. Yes, you are Kara. Yes. And I, I love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, and, um, and, and yes, Kara is also just saying, I, she's loving what you're saying. She says, I love that Lori. I just feel so complete and still oh. and Awesome. Awesome. So okay, Lori, the next thing, and this is where we start to have some fun with it is hey. <laughs> I like to bring it even more into the body, really, you mm -hmm. know, connecting in and like feeling, you know, being playful and feeling into that affirmation, into that stillness and action and, and understanding what things feel like in our physical body. It's not just up here. What, what is it? What are we feeling like? So what could be a power pose to go with your affirmation for today? Oh my goodness. I never have thought of that before. What a great question. Um, huh. You know, when I think of it, so that whole sensation for me always sits right here in my chest. So um, any pose that requires you to open up and receive, right? Uh, the, the giving and receiving is such a symbiotic process. And you know, so to be able to receive who you are completely, I definitely think anything like this, just sitting in a chair, you can just do this, right? You like lean back and open up. Um, I love, you know, encouraging people to walk down the street just with their hands open, your arms down and your hands open. Um, it allows your energy to flow and you to receive energy. So definitely anything like that, that creates a space for you to go, ah, I am a whole and complete and beautiful exactly as I am. And I receive myself and love myself. Um, I love think it. those kind of things. Yeah. And then also, you know, I'm hearing Cindy laughing in the next room. She's so full of joy. So when you do that, it actually also opens you up to joy because you can, uh, you know, you breathe in more, your lungs are full. Laughter's easier when you're not constricted. And, and joy is the highest vibration to change any experience that you're having. I love that you brought that in. And I want to say that I know, um, so for anybody who's feeling that joy is a challenge, that mm -hmm. playfulness is a challenge, I know that the degree of safety that you may feel to allow mm -hmm. yourself to open up and step into or expand into a sense of joy, that can really, that can impact. So to the degree of how you, how you feel safe or not can impact your ability to feel like you can open up. And so that is also why I am so passionate about, oh my goodness, I feel it so much right now. I'm so passionate about the importance of your alignment because the more you are in alignment with your truth, with your energy, with remembering you have a choice, whoo, that really does support you and empower you and feeling and knowing you are safe. Yeah. And so the more that you feel into that, then it's like, oh, now I actually feel like I can open up and expand and, and receive and allow and all of that. So I, yeah, I love that you connected us with that. Yeah. And you know, safety goes right along with capacity. So some days I have more capacity to feel safe in my joy. And I have to tell you, when we do talks, like Sydney and I talk all, all over the place. I mean, less now we talk like this more now. Um, one of the things I do say is, Joy can be uncomfortable. Joy can be uncomfortable when you do not have the capacity to, to, to be okay in you today or celebrate you today or see you today. And somebody else like Sydney can be in like the highest joy. And last year it was my mission to be as joyful in my aloneness as she is. Because Aww. there's no way my thoughts are as happy when I'm alone as hers are. And but it can be uncomfortable and to give yourself permission to say, you know, just today I don't have the capacity to feel safe in that. So, okay. And, and like that little opening, yeah, you know, and some days you need to do this and other days exactly. you're like, oh, I'm okay. 
Yeah, exactly. The, the alignment piece is, is not about forcing yourself to mm -hmm. feel something or be something or do something that doesn't feel natural. It's about tuning into what does feel natural. And the more that you get that, then it's going to naturally actually become easier to open and expand, but to the degree that feels comfortable for you. Yeah. And so, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. It. Well, I do too. I love it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Kara saying empowerment is key. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So we have more that we're going to be talking about here. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're already at 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> let me go ahead and, and just, uh, you know, share a tiny bit about Lori here with everyone. So Lori Cowling's message, if you weren't, didn't already realize Lori Cowling's message is see uniqueness as she supports her daughter, a young woman with down syndrome. And she has a see uniqueness Facebook group. You can also connect with her in, but Lori, will you just tell us a little bit more about, about, you know, this message of see uniqueness and, and share a little more about that with us. Sure. You know, a couple of years ago when we started this uh, campaign, we made a video, actually, it's a YouTube video. It's on our see uniqueness channel. And now we call it Sydney's million. And we're inviting a million people to celebrate and share their uniqueness. And we started that uh, actually with Cindy and her friends one year on World Down Syndrome Day. They were like, we want everybody to feel as great about themselves as Sydney does. And so it just kind of snowballed into this place. And uh, this past fall, Sydney was honored um, at our local, our Calgary chat business. What the heck? It was the business chicks back then. Um, 450 people were in the room and okay. she received an award as a woman of inspiration. Oh, and it was amazing. It was amazing. She like walked through and all these people stood and celebrated her. <sighs> yeah. And as that happened, I felt this like huge change in myself because for a decade, my focus was for the world to see the way Sydney does, mm. which is beautiful and she sees everybody as perfect exactly as they are and she's real like her one of her favorite things is to say true like you're beautiful true you're frustrating me true <laughs> right she's just so when we went through this event and you know after and I was so profoundly changed and understood that now I needed to change something needed to adjust and I felt okay. this sense of I wanted every person who won an award that night to get a standing ovation. And the reason Sydney did is because she totally owns who she is and she knows she's beautiful exactly as she is. And so now we've changed that conversation of celebrating, uh, sharing that message and celebrating you to what if a million people told us what they celebrate about themselves? That's a wow. whole new language a yeah. whole new language of how to talk about yourself. And what if you knew how to celebrate yourself within the groups and communities of your life? And then that gave somebody else the language to celebrate you, you know, like uh, somebody in this business, somebody doing what you're doing, somebody who is an athlete, somebody who um, is indigenous, you all will have different language to celebrate you. What if that was common? Yeah. And I knew how to look at you and say, I see you for you, not for what my filter says you should be. Mm. What, what if that, what if we could celebrate each other and yeah. see you, right? <laughs> That is so beautiful. I mean, that, that goes right back to, we teach other people how to treat us, but that first requires us to know how to treat ourselves and know who we are first, right? Know who you are first. And so that is so beautiful. Lori, how, as a mother, how did that feel for you to see 450 people <laughs> standing up and celebrating your daughter and, and knowing, wow, I'm on the pathway to that million or, or then seeing the vision for that million. What was that like for you? Um, you know, it was like an accumulation of everything from the moment she was born. She, um, you know, our life was completely different when she was born. And then when she was three, she had leukemia. Oh, and wow. we spent so many years in this place of just survival. Um, and to be at that event and surrounded by our friends, Judy, who's on the call, she was there. And um, we had some of Sydney's friends there and our family were there. And to see that... From the time she was born to that moment, um, the world had changed 
how they view difference. You know, like it's really stunning. It was a huge event and there was many, many women honored for many, many different things. And to just know the world is changing how they see difference and to continue with that conversation. um, It's just so like every time I talk about it, my heart just opens. And I think every single person on this call, I want to say to them, I see you, you know, like we do our Facebook lives every day right now, Monday to Friday, just because it's fun and Sydney likes to. And one of the days I didn't have anything to talk about. And all I did is I went through everybody on the list and said, oh, I see you. And the ones I knew, I talked about how I see them and why I see them. And um, just to feel that, for everybody to feel that there would be less, so much less conflict in our world. Absolutely. I, I love that message, and I just want to go ahead and invite everybody who's who's with us today, whether you are live. I see we have a handful of people here with us live, and uh, we're going to also have lots of you on the replay as well. And I invite you right now to say hello in the comments or say, you know, I, I see you or or tell us what you celebrate about yourself so that we can tell you we see you. Uh, that's that's a fantastic message to give to everyone, Lori. I love it. And and so right now I'm just going to say I see you, Kara, and I see you, uh, Judy. I see you, Judy. Um, that is it, I will leave it up to you, but would you like to invite Sydney to come join us? It's yeah. Let me see if she'll come. Okay. okay. I got to, I got to move. So yeah, that's okay. Well, while she does that, I'm going to pull some cards to expand on today's message. And yeah, you know what? H- how about this? So yesterday, one of the cards that came out was, and so fitting. Okay. I am my own unique self. This is just literally on the top from yesterday. Cause I put it back in the box. It's so fitting for today. Kara, I sell it. I'm so glad you do. Kara celebrates her open heart. Are you coming? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just going to hold this up to yours so you can hear. All right. We're here. Hi, Sydney. It's so nice Hi. to meet you. What, um, what do you want to say? To I do it. You don't have to, but you could say something to everybody if you wanted to. No, it's bad. All right. We're out. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sydney. You're welcome. <laughs> my chocolate chip. My favorite thing about Sydney is uh, she's completely unapologetically her. And there's no reason to ever be uh, anything other than that. Right? There's Exactly. Yes. And Kara is saying, I celebrate you, Lori oh, and Sydney. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And Lori, here's what's so interesting is, oh, I already shuffled it back in. Well, I showed everyone, there was a card that came out yesterday. Um, there was a card that came out yesterday that uh, was on the top of the deck here. And so I showed it. It was all about, I am my own unique self. Ah. And so very fitting. And here is the card that popped out moments ago while Lori was getting Sydney. I was born to enjoy life. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> and, awesome. Is right? Okay. And the back of it says, I am a beloved child of the universe and have been given everything I need for every experience I shall have. Yep. I love it. And that's exactly what Sydney shows everybody all day long is I'm just me. I'm like, just celebrate me. I already have everything to be me. Yes. And and Judy is also saying hi to Ah, Sydney. She loves that. Judy and Sydney just have this amazing relationship. Um, And, you know, I just want to quickly say that the name for See Uniqueness came um, in part from Judy's family. So um, I don't, I, you know, I intend to talk about this story a lot more. So Judy's granddaughter was 19 when she passed away a couple of years ago. And it was right before we created this video. And we were doing it at Tribal Connection Market in our local town. And um, Judy's daughter, Jody, said, Lori, just make the video and we'll all help you. And when you watch it, you can see, like, it's just like a bunch of us getting together celebrating who we are. Uh, But that I couldn't get a name. I kept thinking, you know, for a couple of years, I played with Be You, Be Unique, and it didn't make any sense. And uh, the night before I went to do the video, I was thinking about Morgan. And, um, you know, she's a beautiful young woman who has the intention and had the intention um, to see people. And so... 
I woke up in the middle of the night and I heard, I see you. I see you. And it took it from be you, be unique to I see you. And you know what it also did is it gave us that space of, it is not just me seeing you, but we are seen by everybody. We are seen by like that card you just said, you know, the Mm -hmm. whole universe. And every time I say, I see you, I think of Morgan and I think of uh, Sydney and I, I think of these, these souls in our world that see us from the truest place we are. Uh, And with all of the people, when we do see uniqueness events, I, I teach them to say, pause and say, thank you. I see you. And yeah, it's just, it's like a whole big place of there's so much more to our hearts and our beings and we need to be seen and heard. I I completely agree. I love it. So I'm going to pull one more card. Let's see what additional. Yay. Oh, there we go. Okay. They landed, <laughs> up, they landed on my lap. <laughs> Yay. So we have two messages here. Okay. So we have my, my work is deeply fulfilling. Yeah. <laughs> so if this resonates with you, let us know in the comments if this resonates with you. And these cards also, their statements can be an affirmation. If it resonates for you, and you didn't already have an affirmation for the day, that can be your affirmation. The other one, and this is one I've actually had on my fridge, not this particular one, uh, but anyway, this message, my thoughts are creative. Yeah. And so what are you telling yourself? And and how can you feed yourself those, those healthy thoughts that really support you in knowing that you are a beloved child of the universe? Yeah. So... Let's just take a quick look at our comments again. So Judy is is saying true. She's affirming what was said today. Lori, will you tell everyone where can they go to connect with you beyond today's show? Absolutely. So right now, uh, the best place that you can connect with us is in our Facebook group. It's called See Uniqueness. So just, you know, go into Facebook. You can search it. We'll we'll share it. and join there. And I have to say, I've been so inspired by the challenges, like the 21 day challenge you're doing. And I just did an abundance one and um, we're going to create a C uniqueness challenge. Yeah. Awesome. So okay. that, that's going to launch May 1st and that's going to just be in our group. Um, okay. So, uh, you know, we haven't fully f- fleshed it all out, but in that group, you also every Monday to Friday, Sydney and I are doing um, Facebook lives and we share stories of, of our communities and it's just a great group. So please go to that and also, you know, check out the video we made on our YouTube channel. Um, you know, as time goes on, we're going to share more and more stuff there too. So give us the name of your YouTube channel again. Is it the uniqueness? The uniqueness? Okay. Yeah. okay. It's the okay, uniqueness. Perfect. It's the, it's just, we just do across the board. We're able to get everything okay. we needed with it. So <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Yeah. And so Lori, as we close out day 21, um, I do have one more question for you, Lori. Yeah, um, for sure. before, before you do that, let me just acknowledge that although this is day 21 of the 21 day rise and shine empowerment series, We also have a bonus day 22 (laughs) happening tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern, and I believe that is 3 p.m. British Standard Time. And so I invite you to join me for that as well. 22 is a master number, I've been informed, but also we are doing that to bring back our day three guests uh, because the the video got a little... uh, uh, Tech, you know, challenged there. So, so we have a day 22 and that'll be officially our final last day. So I invite you to join us for that. And Lori, I would love to close out. Of course, this is totally optional, but would you be open to singing a song with the words rise and shine in it? <laughs> sure. We're always singing songs. <laughs> you want me to make anything. one up? <laughs> yeah, make it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, I am not so good at making it up, but okay, let's see. Cindy and I are always making up spells, so this should be easy, right? Um, oh my, rise and shine, shine your light, show the world your beautiful might. Rise and shine, shine your light, show the world all your light. That was awesome. <laughs> That was excellent. Oh uh, my gosh. You and your singing voice, Lori, and it was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was something I've never been asked to do before. So I thank you for creating something new for me. 
<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. And so with that, remember, every day is always a new day. Wherever you are today does not have to be where you are tomorrow. Wherever you were yesterday does not have to be where you are today. And that's a metaphor for reminding you that every single moment of every single day, you have the ability to connect back into, wait, what choice can I make right now? To realign, to recenter, to reconnect with the truth of what it is that the world that you want to create, the world that you want to live in. And knowing that there's so much power and so much abundance within that through the power of your choice. So thank you so much for being here today. Let us know in the comments what you're taking away from today's conversation. And yes, Lori, thank you. So specifically, thank you. <laughs> so good to be here. So glad to have you here. And we will see you again tomorrow for a final, final, final episode of Rise and Shine. Every day is a new day right here on the Every Day is a New Day show and coaching page on Facebook. Have an amazing day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.